Good morning, everyone, on this fine day. We have a little bit of a unique opening, or rather unboxing today. Um, and I do not know the entire history on this, so maybe let me know down in the comments. However, we've got some exclusive Pokemon cards, um, primarily non holo variants. These are from some type of play Pokemon event that happened in other countries, specifically, I believe, and primarily, maybe only, in European, certain European countries. Um, I am not aware of these happening in North America. However, I could be 100% wrong. Either way, this happened probably a year and a half ago, sometime in 2022, towards the end of the year. Um, and it was meant for some type of little tournament to play at game stores, I believe. And winners or players or whoever would get these little decks to play with, I believe, or just for competing, they would get them. But we're going to open them today and see exactly what is so special about them. We also got some decks that it came with. So we have our Umbreon deck, and here we go. Welcome to the Pokemon Training Card Game Trainer. Kick off your journey with this 30-card starter deck. So yes, these are starter decks, and I believe these were intended for new players who are going to be playing the game at a local game store. We got Greninja, which is the big reason I'm opening this, because I need all my Greninja variants, and Lucario. So three pretty awesome Pokemon to be featured in here. These are the deck boxes, and now we have our 30-card decks. I did buy two copies of each of these decks. Um, I was able to get them for a decent price on eBay for just about 30 bucks a set of three. So like $10, I think it was, maybe a little more than that, Ten between... 10 and $20 for a single set of them as we rip right through this to open it. And if you recall, when I first mentioned this at the beginning, I did say that they were non hollow variants. So this Umbreon here almost looks fake because there is zero hollow pattern on it. Sadly, the bottom does look it, like it is a bit scuffed on the front, although the back is looking pretty well. Not that I am going to be looking to get these graded. These are going in the binder set. I can see the bottom there. A lot of whitening on the front. This is from Evolving Skies, of course, the Umbreon V. So another another variant of Umbreon for Evolving Skies that probably should be worth more than it is. I'm guessing you can buy this for by itself between ten and twenty dollars on eBay. But it it's not a very common card. I'm not sure how many of these starter decks they created. However, there are not hardly any listings online. And then all of the other cards here, as we go through them, should be pretty pretty standardized. I don't believe there are any other variants minus one in this Umbreon deck, which is that guy right here, Galarian Obstagoon. Do you notice the difference? This is Black Star promo number 193. And for the longest time, I did not think this version of the card existed. And to be honest, this is a very, very strange way to have the standard variant available only through this random play Pokemon deck at game stores from one event. Uh, this version does not have the Eevee stamp for the Eevee deck from the Battle Academy on it. So this is the only version, as far as I'm aware, that does not have that stamp. And it makes it a pretty sought-after card if people were aware of it. So this is card number two in the Umbreon deck that is very unique and special. All the other cards are going to be your normal energy trainers and Pokemon from their standardized sets. Just going through all the cards, making sure I'm not missing anything because I have not actually looked through these cards before, then yes, there are two actually Galarian Obstagoon cards per 30 card deck. Only one Umbreon and Zero Aura and Darkness Energy. So there we go. That is deck number one, and then deck number two is Greninja. And unfortunately, the Greninja and Lucario decks, I believe only those Pokemon themselves are the variant non hollow version. There's nothing similar with the Galarian Obstagoon. So there we go. Hopefully this card is in a little better condition than the Umbreon, as the Greninja is the one I'm especially looking for. So there we go. Very clean, I think. And as you can tell, I'm trying to show it in the camera. There is no hollow pattern on here. This is from Fusion Strike. Greninja. 
And our other 29 cards from the deck. We will just go through it one by one and see exactly what is in here. Oh, we do have a Drizzle from Sword and Shield Base. I don't believe this is, anymore is, but this used to be a very playable and valuable Pokemon un Pokemon card. This was going for like $4 at some point. Inteleon, this might be a non holo exclusive. Um, I do not recall. So I'll, I'll set that off to the side as well. It might be available in other theme decks, though, as a non holo Water Energy, Potion, lots of trainer cards. Switch, Water Energy. A little weird seeing all of these yellow borders again after opening so much Scarlet and Violet. Carvana, another Inteleon, a Sharpedo, Energy, and Sobble, and Energy. All right, and we'll go th quickly through this final one, this Lucario here. If I find out more information before I post this video, I will make sure I include some in the comments and the description of exactly how this was released with some more information. Probably we'll take a look at Bulbapedia. That is one of, if not the primary sources for a lot of Pokemon TCG random random facts, I guess. So there we go, non holo Lucario V from Champion's Path. I thought I already had a master collection of Champion's Path. However, now I can add that Lucario V to it as well. And not to mention this is a Machamp non holo I this is um, for sure a normal hollow in the Champion's Path set. I'm not sure if this is the first time it is released as a, or first and only time released as a non hollow So I will have to double check that as well. It could be two unique versions in this deck. We got Hop, Switch, Energy, Machoke, Machop, Shauna, Energy, uh, Incense, Hop, Energy, Energy, Rockruff, Sonia, and Lycan Rock again from Vivid Voltage as the rare and another Machamp there without the hollow pattern. So there we go, guys. There are the three play Pokemon decks that we were able to open and take a look at today. Uh, again, I will add some more information in the comments and description if I can find out any more. These are just for really diehard collectors at this point if you are looking to get all of the variants for all of the sets from Sword and Shield, which at the moment I am just because I am so close at this point. I have very few cards I need for every set, just some of the alt arts and randomized promos like these. So thank you guys again for watching. I will see you tomorrow with another card opening video.